We're just gonna take it real slow and easy, just like we would normally do in any kind of regular clutch or brake bleed, you know, like just a pump, 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 but we're gonna give you real slow pumps. So what we're doing is we're just bleeding this system half of it. Jason now. Tika got hot because it's a thousand degrees outside. She's hiding in the car, which I wish I was doing. Um, went to Home Depot. It's across the street, which is convenient. And uh, looked all over for, for Punch That Ass a guy. Oh yeah, they're over here. I found them. There was a pun punch set of three punches. And that would have been $16 for like an eighth inch and a sixteenth. And like, it was just like nothing you needed. But then I realized that uh, Similar to everything is a hammer if you try hard enough. Everything is also a punch if you try hard enough. So I bought a set of uh, SAE Allen wrenches for $8 because they come in more sizes. They're basically circles and I'll hammer on these all day long. <coughs> so that's what we did. You gotta use your noodle when you're driving pieces of junk. Now I gotta open it. Yeah, I don't know if I already explained. Um, I think I did. I'm probably this. This has been a. T we had plans of making like the best YouTube videos. Like, oh, we're gonna be in the states, it's been adventures, and I didn't do nothing. And uh, being here, we have a plan. We got a rental car. It sucks. And uh, oh yeah, worst case scenario, I'll add 900 miles to this trip if I ha if, if this doesn't work. And we'll go home, get my gigantic tow truck, come back, get it, do a whole shuffle. But in the meantime, we're gonna keep trying. But you might be asking yourself, Jace, why are you in Wyoming? That's a good question. Uh, Utah is too expensive. That's all there is to it. So we're not leaving Japan anytime soon, but when I do, I'll have to move somewhere. So we drove to Wyoming, found some land. We think it's the right spot. It's got a, it's a quite, it's pretty nice. So uh, it's, just, it's just dirt though. So we're gonna hopefully get it while we're here. If, this, if I can get this car done and we can get, get moving, get that purchased. And then in a couple years from now, come back Built myself a big old barn dominium with a bunch of shops again, and uh, that's the plan. So yeah, that's why we're in Wyoming. And um, but yeah, we're in Cheyenne. I gotta say, every single person I have met here has been the nicest person. I haven't had a single bad experience. No one has been like, I don't know, stuck up or mean or nothing like that. But everyone has been super, super chill, and that is a nice change of pace from other places I have been. So now we just lose it, and then then we call this call this whole whole thing a call this trip a done. I don't know. Could be done with this day. Where'd that cotter pin go? Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Now to see how much fluid comes dumping out of here. Not a crazy amount. Definitely some. I'm not gonna film it because I don't want to touch the camera, I'm all dirty now. But just imagine if you will, it's a crappy master cylinder leaking basically like charcoal colored fluid. Okay, so that should drain everything out of the master cylinder. It's a remote master cylinder, so I gotta unhook the little like soft line. I think it's just pressed on there. I have no idea. And then in a video I, I watched on YouTube, a guy said that the master cylinder turns like some amount of degrees and then slides out. But I gotta go inside and take the inside roll pin out. A roll pin, cotter pin, something. There's a pin. We gotta get this hose out first. As I'm sure you can imagine, it's from 2003 and it's rock hard and does not move. We'll come back after this commercial break. Boop, boop. Okay, it's only been like five minutes, but it's really successful. There were, uh, the, the reservoir, ooh, my face, uh, up here, was clipped in, terrible design, uh, here and here, so I clipped that out, managed to spin out, that's a, uh, the, uh, 
uh, the line down to the master cylinder. So I got that disconnected. And then inside, in my ramblings about like, oh, it's some kind of weird clip. I was correct. It was some kind of weird clip. I was, wasn't like a sir clip or, it had a lot more in common with like a, like a brake line clip. But uh, pop that off, use a screwdriver, pop the rod off, came right off. So now, according to ye olde internet, this master cylinder should turn a direction and then it should come out. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, yeah, Corvette. Uh, so, yeah, here it is. Look, yeah, that's the, that's the line. It's not even threaded. It's like there's a roll pin on the bottom. I mean, neat. Sure, I'll go along with that. I can appreciate that. But, uh, oh, oh, she turns. How much does she turn? Does she pull? I'm gonna put this camera down. So, internet man, I forget which YouTuber, one of us dummies, was like, yeah, you turn it 90, oh. Oh no. He was like, you turn it, then it comes out. And sure enough, it does. So yeah, visually from the outside, I don't see any concerns with this. My theory is, is that I've got a spring on the pedal, which gives me a little bit of tension, and then it over centers obviously, right? And then I feel like there's probably a spring in here, logically, that would give me some, some feedback, but then there's like the hydraulic pressure that I should be feeling from the slave cylinder. But I think that this has died internally, and like the little cup or the seals that push the fluid have been compromised and it didn't leak externally, but it's just like not pushing fluid, which is why my clutch doesn't work, but I still have a weird feeling, kind of stiff pedal. But this one, so I don't, I don't want to like flex it out right now, but uh, that's my theory is that I've got a physical spring still working, but my hydraulics are dead in this. And it's not uncommon. I mean, it's a pretty common thing for Corvettes to fail on this. From what I read, I'm not a Corvette, I'm, not, I'm obviously not experiencing these. But yeah, it's out, it's good. Um, my plan now, I have no idea what time it is. I hope it's closer to 2.30 than not 2.30. I'm going to put all my tools away, put the wheel back on the Corvette, so still on a jack stand, and then lock everything up and run over to O'Reilly's real quick, which is in like sketchy part of town. And then I'm gonna come on back and we're gonna install it and it's gonna work. And then we're gonna be driving home and I'm not gonna spend an extra two days and 900 miles of driving to get this thing home. That's the plan. You saw it here first on Fish Oh Yeah. Okay, bye. Okay, what we're gonna do though is, uh, not yet, but I'm gonna put fluid in there and we're just gonna take it real slow and easy just like we would normally do in any kind of regular clutch or brake bleed, you know, like just a pump, 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 but we're gonna give you real slow pumps. So what we're doing is we're just bleeding this system half of it. So I'm gonna fill this up. I'll keep my thumb over the edge. Just go, just like, 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 not fast, but just, just give me like. Hey everybody. As a continuation from the master cylinder swap, um, I spent the entire day doing it and got all done and had to bleed the clutch which is a nightmare on a C5 and I yelled a bunch and I didn't film it it was terrible and we got all done I had the pedal and I was all proud of myself and I reassembled the exhaust at the bottom of the car and I uh, got done and then it wouldn't go into gear so we drove home yesterday back to Utah for seven hours 400 miles something in the rental car and today we are in the long hauler as we call it the truck my dad and I built and uh, we are headed back to Cheyenne, Wyoming to go pick up my Corvette where we've got 
myself, Chica, my dad, and my boy Jack are with us. We're cruising across the countryside, and uh, we we are hauling the rental car because I can only turn it in locally in Cheyenne, Wyoming. And so we're gonna haul it back, swap it out with the Corvette, unload, hopefully do a turn and burn today, and drive another seven to eight hours back in a gigantic motorhome tow truck, XU haul truck monstrosity. But yeah. So that, this is going to be a long video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I'm not enjoying making it, I know that. But uh, yeah, they're watching, I assume, cars or something on the, on the TV back. This is a very cool truck. We'll do a quick tour of this truck when we get to the next rest stop or somewhere. But anyway, that's a little update. And um, we'll catch you when we get to the Corvette, which is still 200 miles away. So I will repeat, do not take Corvettes on road trips. Big respect to everybody on Drift Week. Those guys are lunatics. Okay. Hey, David, be careful. feel bad all around you know like I didn't fix it but at the same time I didn't like not totally finish it and then waste 900 miles we needed 900 miles to get back here but now I get to spend who knows how much money and time pulling the stupid everything out of it to fix it and uh, but yeah the rescue wagon has arrived we got our rental car we're gonna load up and then uh, we'll be uh, we'll be done Hello again. Okay, so you might have seen a little bit of snippet of footage. We didn't film a whole lot, but we coasted, and I mean coasted, into Rollins, uh, Wyoming, which is not our destination, but that is where we got to. Um, the fuel pump we thought was dead. We pulled out the fuel pump. It's really easy on the truck because the tank's exposed. And we actually, my dad actually changed the pump about six months ago because it did the same thing. And we pulled it out, and the sock was just covered in rust, just this orange slime. 
and we determined it's because I bought this truck like five years ago and it's been a work in progress ever since and it's got like a 120 gallon tank so I ain't putting no 120 gallons just to sit around but if anyone knows how metal works uh, that's how rust happens if you don't have a tank full of gas I'm about to fall down some rocks we're at the Walmart oh, hi, Chica. Wow. we went to a Walmart and uh, to get snacks and to fix our hotel and there's like this there's no stairs so there's just rock so we're walking down Uh, so anywho, yeah, we, we got to know O'Reilly's, they didn't have a new sock, we just took it off and cleaned it as best we could, and then we got a new fuel filter, like a spin-on, like oil filter, like oil filter type. I had to go, I had to buy like every tool involved, again, I've, I've spent, like, a, I'm not going to tell you how much money I've spent on that strip on tools, but i spent way more than I wanted to. And I had to buy like an oil filter wrench at O'Reilly's, and we had to buy a quick disconnect with a fuel pump, and we had to buy brake cleaner and everything. So we got it all bought and then I changed out the pump and there was a little or the pump, the filter, there's a little bit of orangey residue in the main filter which is fine, which is good so we did, we went ahead and changed it anyways and uh we uh it started right up, ran okay and but it's 8, 8.30 at night and we want to go to sleep and even though we only have like four four hours to get home everyone's beat and we're burned up and I don't know if the truck's going to make it so I'd rather be stuck at noon tomorrow than midnight tonight. So we are in our hotel and we're gonna eat this stuff from Walmart. And we'll update you in the morning. Holiday Inn Express, very nice, we really like it, okay. Okay, so we uh, woke up in the morning and the truck still started. So it's like our fuel pump sock cleanup job worked out pretty good. And uh, we made quite a few miles today. We're actually in Utah again already. We're over in the Morgan area, like the eastern side of the mountains. And I uh, got Chica behind the wheel. And um, yeah, we are almost home. We're like 25 minutes from Ogden. And um, I gotta find someone to change my clutch for me because I'm only in the States for another couple days. And ordered a clutch last night. I don't think it's a clutch, but I think it's the slave cylinder most likely. Or likely a pressure plate might have failed, like a, one of the little fingers might have snapped and that's lodged and then that's why it won't disengage. But uh, so there's a, few, there's a few people locally I'm going to hit up and see if they'll change it for me while I'm gone. And then in uh, a couple years when I get back I'll play with it again and hopefully break it some more. But um, yeah, we might, this is almost the closer. This is a long video, probably. Uh, I'll do a final closer when we get to the shop and we're backed in and we're in my dad's Chevy Tracker and we're headed back to the house to go take a nap. And uh, yeah, overall it's been quite the eventful, expensive uh, little jaunt to one state over. But uh, anywho, thanks for tuning in and we'll do a music outro uh, when we get to the shop. Alright. Okay, we are back in Utah. We've switched drivers now. So my dad's back behind the wheel. He's going to be parking their big rig in the uh, at his shop. There it is. My two broken vehicles. But well, one's kind of fixed now. But uh, yeah, back in Utah where everyone ruins trucks with ugly wheels and no one knows how to drive. But uh, anywho, thanks for tuning in to our little extravaganza in the States. Try to get, try to get away from Japan every once in a while. But uh, it was pretty uh, enjoyable, and like, yeah, even though I hate breaking down and I hate having broken cars, it's, it's always an adventure, and so I grew up this way, we are always hauling cars and selling things and stuff, and uh, this is my, my, my dad's neighbor, Kevin, he's always giving me crap, but uh, anyway, yeah, <sighs> it's, always, it's always an adventure, it's always fun, even though it's a headache, but uh, it's, it's, it's good knowing that you can fix something and get back out of a jam, but uh, Hold on a second, I'm gonna do a little quick cut here. But yeah, I like the challenge, and we, we succeeded. Yeah, we, we took apart a fuel pump and cleaned it out and drove another 300 miles after that and haven't had any issues since. So, there's the, we'll turn to the big rig. <laughs> Kevin crashing the curb. Parking this, we're gonna go home, and we're gonna get a nap, and then we're gonna come clean up this mess later, and we'll see you guys next time. See ya.